ask or delight in the shadow sides of coaching. Who should? When we are coaches and we are in sessions and we don't have the courage to ask clients that discomfortable question, who should? I just keep hearing always how great coaching is. It's powerful, it's effective, it's super, super, super. A coin always has two sides. That's why talking about the light and shadows, and the more we, we talk about the shadows, the more we can become aware of the light sides of it. And that gives confidence and stability and less pressure and less stress. I'm observing that our coaching field is moving from first generation to second generation to third generation coaching. Coaching in the first generation used to be about task setting, goal attainment. And why it moved into the second generation when science found that the coach-client relationship is the most important element of coaching success. And research currently shows, and my research also shows, that the coach-client relationship is important, but it's not as important as we thought it would be. So it is not the key to the coaching success, but it can strengthen or weaken coaching effectiveness. So away from goal setting only, even away from focusing on the coach-client relationship as the key element of success, to what Reinhard Stelter is calling the third generation of coaching, where it's about joint meaning making, in which the coach becomes a sparring partner with the client, which also means that we give feedback, especially also we will disrupt we will take more risks, we will shift perspectives, co-create meaning with the client, which means that we also bring in more than we were supposed to bring in originally. The more we are looking into this, I am gaining deeper and deeper sense of peace of mind. What this, all this learning is doing, learning about the light and shadow is doing, is, is creating peace of mind. Because my coaching work is no longer about me, me, me. But pushing this power away from me to the others is very empowering in itself. So these are the four developmental dynamics that have shaped the idea of looking into the light and shadow and conducting interviews and feeling really inspired to, uh, to support the women uh, in Kenya to become more entrepreneurial in collaboration with MAMA organization, who is actually supporting women in Kenya to become more entrepreneurial. So they are financially supporting them, they are training the women. When we go into, into coaching, we need to be very careful because we don't understand everything completely. No system understands itself completely, which also means we can never understand ourselves fully as a coach either. No matter how we brace ourselves with knowledge, with ex experiences, we don't know ourselves really fully ever. But we are offering our services to someone. With what level of awareness are we doing it around our own blind spots? And how we are bringing all those blind spots into the sessions. Whatever way we, we sense a love for something, a preference, a like, a very strong like for something, it's also our golden shadow because it's strong, it's there. The love of serving, the love of truth, whatever that love is of, can potentially also mean a golden shadow because it can be strong and whatever is strong is binding our energy, is binding our attention, and is making us less curious about something else. Everything that we do, there is a shadow side. And that we just keep inquiring, the way we inquire with clients over and over again, uh, their process is to inquire also ourselves, into ourselves as coaches, understanding ourselves as a field better, understanding the self as a coach better, understanding the life of organizations better, and the spirit of coaching. <laughs>